episode. We're here every Thursday, every Thursday, mid mid Eastern Standard Time, um, helping people their business, helping people with entrepreneurship mindset, also improving their you know their worth and by improving personal development, and then also helping people with you know credit business. Um, I think that's my business. I'm always helping people, trying to give out knowledge to help those people get out of the situation that they're in, um, in terms of improving their financial situation, improving their business situation, improving their entrepreneurship. That way, they can improve their, their, their overall life and increase their family's, uh, um, you know, general wealth. Um, so, yeah, join me. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm here. If you guys have comments, questions, likes, please wherever you listen to this. Um, Drop a comment, drop a like, drop a thumbs up. We appreciate everything that you, you give us. And uh, if you have any people that you would love to have on the show, please contact us, info at corundagroup.com. That's info at corundagroup.com. We are also going to be having the real estate event. It's coming up soon. Um, it's going to be really for people who are trying to get into their first, you know, get into real estate. Um, I'll break down every way you can get into the business. I'll help people get into their first homes, you know, using FHAs. I'll help people get into commercial, if they need to get into commercial buildings. Um, I'll help people with, you know, banks and lending and financing. I'll teach them how to work the banks and use them correctly. Um, the event's not going to be free, but the information will be worth more than, trust me, that the cost of the ticket. Um, eventually, we are getting the situations in terms of the logistics set, and then we'll let you guys know about the upcoming day in the event. Most likely, it'll be a weekend, so it'll be easier for everyone else to show up. So I hope to see you guys. Event. Make sure you bring friends and family who want to get into the real estate game and hopefully they can improve their lives. So, this week's episode is internal liabilities plus external liabilities. Now, people might know what liability means, and I'll explain all this to you, but a lot of people don't know that there's multiple ways of having liabilities. So, if you think um, external liabilities, external liabilities are the ones that you can see are your cause, like your your external liabilities are your cause. You cause them to yourself, meaning they're self-inflicted. So if you are trying to move up in terms of finances and you have a lot of external liabilities, um, and we'll go over these, what they are. You will have a hard time making it in any business you want. Or you want. So understand that there's external liabilities and then there's internal liabilities. Both are really bad. Both, both are not really good. And this is one thing that I really want to help out my audience is learning how to avoid the bad paths. Because obviously if you go down them, um, there's nothing good for you at the end of them. So external liabilities and internal liabilities. Everyone has them. Everyone has external liabilities and internal liabilities. You can't avoid it. What you can do is reduce it, reduce the amount, or reduce the way you think about them. This is the thing. You have to understand that everyone has external liabilities and internal liabilities. So where did you get your external liabilities from? I'm sorry, where did you get your internal liabilities from? You get your internal liabilities from your friends, family, parents, your inner circle, your work environment. That's where you get your internal liabilities. So you get what the people around you are feeding you or what you say to people around you and how you get feedback from them. So if, for example, let me give you an example. I used to work at a company that I saw people that worked there for 40 years. And I just got there working for two or three years. And I realized almost everyone has been there 10, 20 years. And I didn't see the success I would like to see for myself in that situation. So I use my internal liabilities to say, listen, I do not want to be in that situation. So I got myself out of that situation. So for yourself, you need to understand what you don't want to see. Like if you could project, if you could project forward and see, okay, if I take this path in terms of, you know, um, the liability I'm, I'm showing. Like, so if I follow the same path of that guy who's been at the company for 40 years, I'm going to be in the same place, driving the same car, probably living in the same city, and I did not want that. So I projected, I saw myself there, and I said, no, I don't want that path, so I have to leave this place. It's that simple. So I saw something. For yourself, if you have 
if you have external liabilities. External liabilities are more cars, clothes, like I said, shoes, you know, anything that you wear. And that's stuff that can, you know, reduce your balance sheet in terms of your personal assets. So you don't have you don't have anything in your side. You don't have you know, stuff that makes you money. Simple as that. External liabilities are stuff you buy yourself. You buy the car, you buy you buy the the the, um, the waters, the Gatorade, the gum. You're the one putting those external liabilities on yourself. So that's not your friends, all that stuff. The stuff internally, though, which is the most important part, is put by your friends, family, and your social circle and the things that you think about. So if if my environment doesn't help me in terms of my internal liability, I need to be around people that are in the path that I want to get to. So if, and everything's fixable. If you have a, a lot of debt or a lot of, you know, external liabilities, you have a lot of, you know, bad credit, car debt, home debt, all that stuff, all that can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. Understand that. But you might have a longer path because you, you went down that hole too deep. So you might have to crawl back five, six, seven years. But now if you, let's say, you know, you're starting up from zero and you don't have a chance, you don't have a chance to buy anything that's going to, you know, lose you money. I prefer you not to buy that thing. So if you if you can afford a five thousand dollar car, I'd rather you buy a thousand dollar car and keep the money so you can do some other stuff with it. Hopefully, make you more money. So understand that's that's the internal the internal liability that you're reducing. Yes, you're gonna have to buy a car. Yes, you need a car. That's fine. But it doesn't have to be the most expensive car. It doesn't have to be the most expensive house in the block. It doesn't have to be the shoes or the newest shirt. It doesn't have to be all that stuff. So you can reduce your your external liabilities and you have some money and you can see. You can see that, okay, I can protect myself and my money. If you can't see yourself, you see, you get a check, you spend all of it, you can't, you don't trust yourself with your money. It's that simple. So that internal liability of fear, doubt, you know, um, hesitant, you don't know how to invest, invest, that's all internally because you just spend all your money. It's, it's that simple. It works the same way. If you have a bunch of, you know, debt in terms of cars, loans, and all these other stuff, and you buy the latest watches and shoes and all that stuff, your external you know, balance sheet, which means your money and your, your assets and liabilities, is going to be all liabilities. It's going to be all the junk you have in your house. Those are all external liabilities that don't do you any good. They don't do you any good. They don't help you at all. So how do you fix these things? First of all, look at what your external liabilities are. What do you have? What's your list? Of? List them out. You know, we talk about this on my seminar. List out all your liabilities, all the stuff that costs you money every single month. I don't care if it's a Netflix or a car loan uh, credit card, whatever it is, you write them down. Every single one. You'll see how long it is. And then you take that list and you start chopping. You start chopping things off. It's that simple. To, to fix your external life, you chop things off that. So if it's Netflix, you don't have Netflix anymore. A $50 watch, I mean a $50 um, cell phone bill, you're going to find a way to get a $20 um, you know, um, cell phone bill. You're going to start chopping. And it's that simple. That's the only way you can do that. You can fix that problem and you can start seeing yourself being more responsible with your money. It's a it's a physical thing. You're seeing it and you're seeing yourself change. So now you're improving your external liabilities. That's simple. Now, same thing with the internal liabilities. You're going to find out things that are causing you fear. You know, a lot of people procrastinate, meaning take their time to just make a decision. No, don't be that kind of slow person. Make a quick decision. Either I'm going in, I'm going out. It's that simple. I'm not in between thinking about it, doing more research. No. In real estate, I thought about it. I jumped in. I went full force in. I don't think now I'm going full even more. You know, if you are going into uh, hair design, don't think about it. Think about, oh, I'm going to. You don't jump in and go straight in. Find 20 clients in, in hair design and see if you can do their hair. You know, if you want to do something, don't wait. Don't think too much. I'm telling you right now, our brains are still 500 years old. You need to understand that. Our brains are not yet ready for this stuff that we're doing right now the technology all this stuff it's not ready for it we're still back in the caveman days so your caveman days always you always had fear you're going to get eaten alive you're going to get you know um someone's going to try to take your your tribe you have that mindset the fear mindset but there's nothing to be afraid of right now anymore especially when it comes to making money and business so understand your internal dialogue comes down to the fear that you have oh uh, that business won't work or my business partner might screw me or you know how am i going to get that loan how am i going to do this that, that internal liability that you have, that fear, all that doubt, all that bad advice you have is going to just hinder your success in the future. It's that simple. So how do you fix that? How do you fix the internal liability? Same thing with the way we, 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 um, we fix the external liabilities. The internal liabilities we change by saying, okay, 
I feel like I'm worthless. I got to figure a way to, to increase my net, my worth. You know, either going to the gym, working out, eating healthier, getting more sleep, finding a way to improve my, you know, my physical. Second thing, okay, my education is low. I don't have enough education on real estate. Okay, I'm going to go to every free meetup, every free um, webinar, everything that I'm going to be finding in terms of that business, I'm going to go after it because I'm not jumping in and out. I'm going straight into it. Second thing, if I'm getting bad advice, okay, before I take any action, I got to find five, six, six people in that business or that industry and ask them how they do it and how they can, how can they can help me. You know, we kind of value. That's the way you can improve that side. You know, if you're getting, you know, um, bad advice from your parents, you might need to get away from your parents. If you got bad advice from school, let's say you went to school for something and you're not making money off of it, that's an internal liability. You, you, you know, you, you're feeling, you know, inadequate because you went to school, you didn't finish, but you didn't get a job in it. Let's say you went to school for, um, you know, architectural design, you didn't get the job in architectural design, and you're sweeping floors. Now your internal I believe like I'm worthless. I have not made money. I've not succeeded where I want to be. So you need to understand everything you're doing right now is just flipping it. So your external liabilities, your watches, your clothes, your shoes, your everything, you're chopping that stuff off, off that list. Improve your money situation. See the money grow a little bit. Internal liabilities, your fear, your doubt, your, you know, your procrastination, your small thinking, your people around you that are negative. You're getting away from all those people. You're increasing, obviously, everything you have in terms of you know, your physical and also your emotional. And then also, you are not waiting for things to just happen. You're going to go after them. You're not going to react. You're going to create. You know, you're going to go forward in terms of things. You're not going to wait for people, to, you know, to come to you. You're going to go find people. You're going to go, you know, extend your hand to people. You're going to help more people. You're going to try to do more things to improve and see yourself improve. And it's that simple. Your internal liabilities will start decreasing. Your external liabilities will start decreasing. And you'll see a big difference in your life. Trust me, it actually, it works. It works. Just remember, everyone has them. Everyone has external liabilities and internal liabilities. It's all about what you do with them. If you increase them, you have more chance for negativity. If you decrease them, you have a greater chance of success. You know, um, I used to have a really bad, bad, bad habit of waiting for things to happen. I was always reacting. I was not, you know, reactive. I, I was always thinking I'm not good enough to do it. I was never, you know, one to say, oh, I'm the man, I'm the, I always, I was skinny, I was, you know, really frail, I, I, you know, I grew up in a hard place, but all that, I think, improved me, improved, and you should use that yourself. Wherever you came from, it should improve you. You know, if you came from a silver spoon, you're not gonna have too much time to improve yourself because you already see all the best of the best. But if you came from a negative background, if you came from a negative situation, you should see yourself where you came from and see where you're going and hopefully see some growth. You know, the work is really, really the best thing you can see for your life in terms of, first of all, your bank account. Second thing also is emotional and personal development and also emotional intelligence. If you improve those things like that slowly, you'll see a big difference in your life. The people that around you will see a big difference. The, um, the people that you, you know, you associate with will be different. You know, it's that simple. I, I believe that if you're making a lot of money, whatever the amount is, if you're making, you're making small money, you still can always adjust your external liabilities and your internal liabilities. You can always do it. You can always, you know, um, take even quicker action. You know, you can always cut your bill even even more in terms of your electricity bill. You can get solar, you know, panels. You know, you can always reduce your um, your small thinking. That's your internal liabilities. In external, you can always, you know, reduce your <clears throat> Your, your car expenses, find cheaper insurance. You know, there's always ways you can reduce all these liabilities and slowly but surely your assets will start increasing. It's that simple. The same way when I buy property, what I'm trying to do is increase the income, which means I'm trying to get more money from it, and then also decrease the liabilities or the expenses. I'm always trying to find a way to cut things cheaper for myself, obviously, but also for the property and for my overall financial situation. If you're in business, that's what all you're trying to do every single day is either increase your income or decrease your expenses. And your expenses are always liabilities. Always. So, guys, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. If you have questions, comments, likes, please subscribe. We're always here every Thursday. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I can't wait to see you guys at the hopefully at the real estate event. We have it coming up. We'll let you know about the dates. Please, you'll see us at the website. If you have uh, questions or anything like that, comments, likes. We always appreciate them. Um, until next week, guys, I'll see you at the top.